13 insights you're going to want to know for week six of the NFL season, starting off in London with the Jaguars and Chicago Bears. The Jaguars defense has allowed 1,066 passing yards, which is most in the NFL, while forcing zero interceptions, and that's tied for the fewest in the league. On dropbacks longer than two and a half seconds this season, allowing opposing quarterbacks to generate a league high 37.7 EPA on such dropbacks, 18.9 EPA more than the next closest team. And EPA stands for expected points added. The Jaguars are also one of the teams to allow a league high nine touchdowns on dropbacks longer than 2.5 seconds. The other teams are the Rams and the Panthers. Through five weeks, Caleb Williams has thrown all four of his interceptions on dropbacks longer than 2.5 seconds this season, generating a negative 42.0 EPA, fifth fewest in the NFL. However, In week five against the Panthers, Williams completed 12 of his 16 passes on such dropbacks for 206 yards and two touchdowns, generating a season-high 11.1 EPA, his first game with a positive EPA on dropbacks over 2.5 seconds. Moving into the next game, we have the Colts and Titans, an AFC South Divisional matchup. Joe Flacco went 33 of 44 for 359 yards and three touchdowns on his first start of the season in week five. Five, finding particular success on passes of 10 air yards, 9 for 15, 249 yards, and two touchdowns, 9.7 completion percentage over expected. Despite completing just three of his 10 attempts in relief of Anthony Richardson in week four, a minus 13% completion percentage over expected, Flacco has now recorded a completion percentage over expected of 4.5 on passes over 10 yards downfield since 2023, which is seventh in the NFL with a minimum of 250 attempts. The Titans defense has allowed a league low nine completions of 10 plus air yards this season, generating a defensive success rate of 37.5 on such attempts fourth highest in the NFL. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the Cleveland Browns. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles passing offense has been more effective against the Blitz this season. 0.25 EPA per dropback, which is fifth in the league, compared to last year where it was negative 0.04 EPA per dropback, which was 14th in the league. Despite a similar depth of throw, Hertz has increased his completion percentage from 61.9% to 69.2% this season. The Browns Blitz at 41.4% of the time, which is third in the league. And when they blitz, they get pressure 48.6% of the time, which is fourth in the league. Obviously, both of these are top five rates. That's really good. An NFC South divisional matchup. We have the New Orleans Saints versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Though Alvin Kamara has forced 17 missed tackles, which is tied ninth in the league on 91 carries, which is fourth in the league this season, his missed tackle rate is 18.9%, his lowest in a season since 2018. Kamara has forced a missed tackle on at least 20% of his carries in each of his previous six seasons. The Buccaneers defense has missed 58 tackles this year, resulting in 305 additional yards, the second most yards allowed by any defense. The Browns are first at 316. An interesting game for probably the wrong reasons. The New England Patriots versus the Houston Texans. The Patriots' offensive line have allowed the highest quarterback pressure rate at 48.3% and an unblocked pressure rate of 13.5% this season. Dealing with rotating offensive line combinations, Patriots' offensive linemen have allowed the highest pressure rate from three of the five offensive line alignments, including left tackles at 19.3%, centers at 14.6%, and right guard at 17.5%. The Texas Texans defense has generated a 42% pressure rate this season, the highest in the NFL. Daniil Hunter currently leads the NFL with 29 pressures, while Will Anderson is tied for 7th with 23. The Texans have been successful creating pressure even without blitzing, generating the highest pressure rate, 40.4%, on non-blitzes this season. The Green Bay Packers versus the Arizona Cardinals. The Packers have recorded the fifth most rushing yards over expected at 151 thus far this season. With newly acquired running back Josh Jacobs leading the way with 19 missed tackles forced on runs this season, fifth most in the NFL. 
Opposing offenses have been expected to gain 657 rushing yards against the Cardinals defense this season, fifth most in the NFL. The Baltimore Ravens versus the Washington Commanders. The Ravens have made a concerted effort to stop the run this season, aligning with more defenders than blockers in the box on a league-high 61% of their plays. This has helped them limit offenses to just three explosive runs this season, four fewer than the next closest team. However, they have been vulnerable on the back end, allowing 40 explosive pass plays, four more than the next closest defense. The commander's running back have combined for 15 explosive run plays this season, tied third most in the NFL. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Las Vegas Raiders. The Steelers have used a four-man rush at the second highest rate in the NFL this season, 77.1%, and have generated the fourth highest pressure rate, 35.9%, and tied for the fourth most sacks at 10 when doing so. The Steelers have recorded an average time to pressure of 2.53 seconds with the four-man rush, fifth quickest in the league. The Raiders have allowed the fourth highest pressure rate, 37.7%, and the most sacks, 14, against four-man rushes in 2024. The Denver Broncos versus the Los Angeles Chargers, an AFC West divisional matchup. The Broncos have blitzed at the highest rate in the NFL this season at 45%, including a league-high 54% on first down. The Chargers' offensive line, likely without starting tackles Joe Alt and Rashawn Slater, once again, have allowed the third highest pressure rate at 41% in 2024. When blitzed, they have allowed the seventh highest pressure rate at 48.4%. We have the Detroit Lions at the Dallas Cowboys. Jared Goff has faced zone on a league high 85.1% of his dropbacks. More specifically, Goff has faced cover three on 47.8% of his dropbacks, the highest rate in the NFL by a margin of 6.2%. Bo Nix is the next up with 41.6%. Goff has thrown three of his four interceptions on the season against cover three, but ranks top 10 in completion percentage at 76.2%. Yards per attempt, nine yards flat, and drop back success rate at 51.6%. The Cowboys have played zone coverage 71.8% of the time and cover three 31.3% of the time at rates similar to the NFL average this season, 70.9% and 30.7%. An NFC South divisional matchup, we have the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. The Panthers have allowed 9.7 yards per attempt on passes over 2.5 seconds, third most in the NFL. Opposing quarterbacks have thrown nine touchdowns on pass attempts over 2.5 seconds against the Panthers, tied for most in the NFL. Kirk Cousins has attempted 63.3% of his passes in over 2.5 seconds, which is fourth highest in the league, totaling 951 yards, second most in the league on such attempts. We have the New York Giants versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Giants have pressured opposing passers at the 16th highest rate in the NFL this season at 33.7%, but have produced the highest pressure to sack conversion rate in the league, 34.4%. On the other hand, the Bengals have generated the ninth lowest pressure rate, 29.7%, and the lowest pressure to sack conversion rate at 11.1% in 2024. Our last stat, we got Monday Night Football, the AFC East to go at it, the New York Jets versus the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen leads all qualified passers with a positive point. 4.7 EPA generated per dropback on quick pass attempts this season, so anything under two and a half seconds. Allen has also averaged the fourth most yards per attempt, 7.2 on quick passes. The Jets' defense has been stingy against opposing quick pass attempts this season, though, allowing the lowest yards per attempt in the league at 4.3 yards. The Jets' defense has also allowed a league low success rate of 36.6 on quick passes pass attempts thank you guys so much for watching as always if you don't know ball want to know ball be sure to subscribe leave a like let us know in the comments what your favorite insight was and also i think i'm going to do a couple of these during the week just for specific teams let me know what teams you want to know down below